Hey everybody, this is Ken Haskins with WebKyrie.com. Thank you so much for taking some time out to check out this tutorial, how to display dynamic data on web pages. With Dreamweaver, creating dynamic content for your website is so easy. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is dynamically display some classic 80s cartoons. Now for you, this could be books, movie titles, products, all sorts of information. But in this tutorial, we're going to create uh, some dynamic content for our classic 80s cartoons. One, because the 80s rock, and two, because the cartoons from the 80s are indeed classics. At least most of them anyway. So in order to display dynamic data on our web pages, we need three things. We first need a database to connect to. This is what we're going to use to store the information that we want to see later on our website. The second thing is we need to create a form. The form that we create is actually going to send over the information to our database to be stored. And the third thing that we need to do is create a web page that's, that's actually going to display the dynamic information from the database. Now here I've already established a connection with uh, my database and I created a table called TV shows and within that table I have four fields. The first field is ID which is set to auto increment each time I insert a TV show. The other three fields are title, description, and clip. This is the information I actually want to display dynamically on my website. And so in order to do uh, that, what I need to do is make sure that I create a form so that I can send over the information to the database to be stored. And what I've done here is created a form already. But if I upload this form to the server, it's not going to do anything when I click Add TV Show. This is because the form doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know how to process the information that I want stored into the database. And so I need to make sure that this form actually talks to the database when I click Add TV Show. Again, Dreamweaver makes this so easy. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we've established a connection with the database. Here, I already have a connection with my database, db underscore tutorials. The next thing that we need to do is go to the bindings panel, hit the plus sign, and let's create a record set. Let's name our record set RS Cartoons. And as you can see, Dreamweaver has already made a connection to our database, the table within the database called TV Shows, and it also here is displaying the fields that I have uh, created within that table and I want this form to actually send over information into all of these fields and so I want to make sure that this button here is selected that's it okay as you can see Dreamweaver now has created a record set for me called RS Cartoons now let's go to our server behavior panels panel and let's hit the plus sign and what we want to do next is select insert record because we want to insert information into the database and here again Dreamweaver has already figured out what to do with the form it's going to uh, it's already established a connection with the database the table and here it knows how to process the information that I put in the form and one of the reasons why it knows what to do is because or why it's done this automatically is because I like to give the form fields the same ID that I've given the fields within the database and so here I have ID title clip and description here and of course within Dreamweaver I basically have the same thing and so it's going to connect to all of this information within the database when I submit the form. 
Now here it says after inserting go to you could create another page that says successfully committed uh, submitted information into the database or whatever it is you want to have there to show that show that you successfully submitted this information but for the sake of this tutorial we're not going to do that so let's hit OK and again Dreamweaver has uh, made a record set for us and it also has created uh, insert record behavior from the server behaviors panel and here behind the scenes Dreamweaver has created all of this PHP code here that you didn't even have to put in at all you didn't have to lift a finger and Dreamweaver is going to use that information to actually talk to the database when we submit this form so let's do that let's hit save and let's preview uh, in Chrome okay so you can see here our form is ready to use let's uh, enter a TV title let's start off with one of the best cartoons from the 80s and that's the Transformers and what I've done here is I've already opened up some tabs for information I want to actually copy and paste into my form so that's what we're going to do here and as I mentioned earlier I want to display a clip so I got some YouTube information, uh, some, an embed code that I can copy and paste into the form as well and submit that into the database. Now here again if I created a, another page that said successfully uh, submitted to database or something like that some kind of confirmation page then I would know that the information was successfully submitted into the database but in this tutorial we didn't do that so let's just make sure that it's there. Let's click on TV shows again and now let's click uh, browse and as you can see here let's just make this a little bigger as you can see our information was successfully submitted into our database we have an ID that's auto incremented to one we have the title transformers and we also have the information that we highlighted uh, copied and pasted from Wikipedia and of course we have the clip here that we're going to dynamically display on our website as well. So let's go back to our form and let's create a couple of more uh, TV shows. The next one here, let's do Thundercats. I don't think anybody will have a problem with that one being a classic television show. And of course, let's uh, copy and paste our code, embed code. Okay, and the last one we're going to do here is let's do Robotech. Awesome show, by the way. And copy and paste this information into our form. And let's do that. Now, let's see if everything went over okay let's go to TV shows and let's go to browse within our database and as you can see everything went over correctly we have an ID that is auto incremented each time I've submitted a new, a new television show Transformers Thundercats Robotech so now let's get this information to that we've stored into our database let's make it display on our website dynamically to do that, let's go to our last page here, which is displaydynamicdata.php. And again, Dreamweaver makes everything easy for us. Let's go to the server behavior panels, a panel rather, or uh, bindings, and let's create a, um, a record set. And let's just give it the same name that we gave the other, uh, our form and uh, called RS Cartoons and with this particular one let's sort this by the title and let's sort it descending alright as you can see Dreamweaver has created the record set for us and now instead of going to the server behaviors uh, behavior panel we're just gonna drag and drop 
things from the bonding bindings panel and we're going to populate this web page so let's take our title put it here let's take our clip put it there and let's take our description and put it there let's save of course anytime you do something always save your work Dreamweaver is known to freeze okay and once again we want to display all of the information that we uh, have put into our database and so what I want to do here is make sure that this border this white border is actually reproduced as well and we're going to uh, go to the server uh, behaviors panel and what we're going to do at this point is uh, hit repeat region but what I want to make sure happens like I mentioned a few seconds ago I want to make sure that this border actually gets uh, duplicated as well in the process so this button has uh, this table has been highlighted how do I know that I can see here and I can select it in Dreamweaver there and let's go to our server behavior behaviors uh, panel and let's click repeat region and in this particular case we're going to select all and now Dreamweaver has again done everything for us this area here is definitely going to repeat let's put it to uh, the server actually let's view it in Chrome and now as you can see the, na the data that we displayed here in our database is actually displaying dynamically here on our web page here we have transformers remember it's in descending order according to the title so transformer is uh, transformers is first Thundercats is in the middle and Robotech is at the bottom and you can see here that the description is here the clip is here and playable and of course the title is right here for everyone to see uh, let's sort this again go back to the uh, server behavior panel or the bindings panel you can just double click that and you could also sort this ascending there's so many things you could do within Dreamweaver as to how however you wanna display this information and you didn't even have to put in a lick of code so let's save it let's upload it to our server and remember transformers was first so now let's refresh our page and now we can see Robotech is now first Thundercats is still the middle child and uh, again the information of the clip is playing the titles there the description is there and so you can as you can see here there are many ways you can display dynamic data on your website but this is just um, like I said a shortcut to it and uh, hopefully you enjoy this tutorial please if you have any questions or anything like that please look me up webkyrie.com send me a message I'll be more than happy to give you a reply also you can connect with me on uh, Facebook please 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 like my Facebook page <laughs> you can uh, connect with me on Facebook follow me on Twitter add me to your circles please subscribe on YouTube as well so anyways hopefully uh, you enjoyed that tutorial and there'll be many more to come thank you so much and uh, have a good one